Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a very exciting video, at least it's exciting to me, um, it's for a haul. So a little backstory, when I got pregnant with my daughter, she'll be two in September, I basically went over my skincare with my doctor because there's some products that you can't use while pregnant and so she gave me a list of like what to look for and what not to use while pregnant. So I got rid of most of my skincare, not got rid of, but like I stopped using it and bought all new products at the beginning of the pandemic. So in 2020, right at the beginning, I bought a bunch of new products and I mainly sticked with Clinique because I worked for them. It's been almost two years and my face had been so itchy like the past couple months, so dry. And I went and I looked at the expiration dates and pretty much all of my products were expired. And I have been using Clinique for a while. I think it's a great starter skincare. Like if you're just getting into skincare, I think Clinique is great because it's fragrance free. It's great for sensitive skin. Um, and they have the one, two, three step that's really easy to follow. And it worked really well for me, but since moving um, to Missouri, my skin has just completely changed, like I said in my last video. So I just thought that I would get all new skincare. I had a gift card from Christmas that I had been saving for something. Let's get on with the video. I've been talking for two minutes. The first thing is this, oh, I hope I pronounced this right, Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen. It's the Let's Get Luminous set. And it comes with the Truth Serum, the Banana Bright Eye Cream, and the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. And I unpacked it already. I've been using it for four days now, and I absolutely love it. So the eye cream, this little baby, and then I believe this is full sized, and then the serum. They smell like a creamsicle dream. Usually I gear more toward fragrance free skincare just because like I said, I have really sensitive skin. Has not broken me out. I don't get itchy after I use it because it's not expired. Um, and then since it didn't come with the cleanser, I bought it separately. This is the um, Ole Henriksen, same brand, Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. Oh, I'm out of focus. It's the Daily Cleanser. But I looked at how much this one is, like, on its own, if you went and purchased it. I think it's, like, 50-something dollars, which I'm really sad about. But again, like, you invest in your skincare, invest in your skin. So next product, this is the Inky List. That's what the brand is called. I've never used any of their products before. Um, but this had really, really great reviews on Sephora's website. So this is the beta hydroxy acid. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Basically, it's supposed to help with blackheads and acne. Now, previously, I had been using the Murad um, Acne Spot Treatment, and that's great, but I've also been using it for the past four years, and I don't think it's working on my skin anymore. Like, it's take, it used to be, like, instant. I would be able to put it on at night, and then the next morning, my pimple would pretty much be gone, but now I have to use it for, like, two to three days to actually see a difference in it, so I got this also. When I was pregnant, not when I was pregnant, after I had my daughter, I completely stopped taking care of my skin. I washed it maybe like a couple times a week. I know that's really bad. And sometimes I wouldn't even take off my makeup if I wore makeup. And my blackheads on my nose have gotten really, really bad. And I know I probably need a facial to get those out, but um, this is supposed to help with that. So it says salicylic. It's a salicylic acid exfoliating serum which works to unclog pores while gently exfoliating the skin. And you only need to use this a couple times a week. I'll probably only use it once a week, honestly. And I'm not gonna be using these like all together right now. I'm gonna try this um, set out for like a week and see how my skin does. And then I'll start adding products here and there just to make sure that I'm not allergic to them or they don't break out my skin. And so if they do, I can figure out which one it is. Yeah, it says you can use day or night, and you use one to two drops on the face and neck, and then you follow with your serum and your moisturizer. So hopefully this can help with the blackheads, and then also this is for um, spot treating acne. 
and this one's really inexpensive too i haven't even opened this yet um i think it was like eight dollars so that's what it looks like and again if you're pregnant just check with your doctor um what skin products you're using i don't want to recommend something to somebody that is pregnant and then use it and it not be safe for them also i believe this one when i was doing my research on it um to use a sunscreen throughout the day after putting it on next product it's the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask by the brand youth to the people i've just heard great things about this mask i don't own any masks other than the clinique moisture surge one and that one's getting close to its expiration date so i thought that i would just try something new oh the packaging is super cute i haven't looked at it yet and it kind of just has a really light scent like berries or lemon hmm. and this is an overnight mask so you put it on um, I believe at the end of your skincare oh and it's 100% vegan no animal testing made in California all skin types Apply an even layer to freshly cleansed skin and then head into dreamland. Use nightly for best results. And then you don't, well, and then you don't have to wash it off in the morning. Lastly, it's not a skincare item, but um, I saw Michaela on TikTok. She showed this new foundation by Kosas. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's the skin improving foundation with SPF 25. It's a medium coverage natural dewy finish and I have it on today. I filmed myself using it for the first time this morning. I'll put that clip in. But basically, oh I'm in the shade white neutral warm 130. It has light yellow undertones so I just kind of went on the Sephora website and picked what I thought what was best for my skin tone. I'm pretty good at shade matching since I worked at Ulta for um, three years. Not to toot my own horn, but uh, this is what the packaging looks like. And it has a lovely pump. I really like the packaging on this with the yellow. And then on the back it has all of the um benefits of using this basically so it says to shake well it's got hyaluronic acid in it peptides squalene pro vitamin b5 caffeine and a couple other things that i can't pronounce but i love foundations that have skincare incorporated in them i love the it cosmetic cc cream uh, that one has skincare in it and so does i believe the laura mercier um the really glowy foundation i don't know what it's called that one has skincare in it as well but the Laura Mercier one that I use doesn't have sunscreen in it so I'm looking for something that had SPF in it more so for spring and summertime that's coming up all right and then some freebies that I got this is the rare beauty primer collection which I'm so excited to try this out I love um, the rare beauty concealer that I have and I also use the rare beauty blush today in the shade bliss i got a little mini set for christmas for my mom it came with three and it's so pretty i used only cream products today and i love the way that it turned out i actually forgot to put primer on before this foundation which i'm kind of upset about because i wanted to see how it would wear throughout the day but that's okay i'm excited to try out these primers there's three there's an illuminating primer pore diffusing primer and then a weightless eye primer and then I also got the Burberry Hero scent. I wonder what it smells like. We'll just spray it on here. Mmm. I wonder if this is a guy or a girl's fragrance. I really like that. I have two Burberry fragrances. I have her and then I have the her that is more floral. I don't know if it's the same name. This is really nice. I feel like it could be unisex. I'd want my husband to wear this, but I'd also want to wear this. Because it's like really fresh and woodsy. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is the end of my Sephora haul. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm on a no-buy now for a couple months. And I will update you all 
with what works for my skin type, what doesn't. I think I should also say in the beginning, I have very, I used to have really oily skin, but like I said, since moving, it's been really, really insanely dry. I have dry skin and then I've had a lot of acne too, but my mom thinks that it's probably either from, I probably think it's from using expired products, honestly. But she also said that if you had COVID, then you could possibly have acne afterwards. So it's either one of the two. I'm pretty sure it's a mixture of both, honestly. But um, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.